Guys, so a lot of a lot of people know how much I hate leaking vehicles. Um, no need for it. Fix it, right? If it drips, fix it. <laughs> done the axle seals on this, or differential seals. I've done all kinds of stuff just to get rid of the leaks, right? I still have a transmission cooler line leak here. That's an easy fix, but my big problem, transfer case. So it's leaking between the transfer case and the transmission. So I've got a uh, transmission output seal and I've got a transfer case input seal and a front drive shaft uh, output seal. So we're gonna replace those now, but I gotta drop the transfer case, so have at her. <laughs> okay guys, so what we gotta do is, uh, what I do is just take a hammer and whack where the bolts are, just to give her a bit of a loosen. And then uh, take all four of your eight mil bolts out because we got to remove the drive shaft so I'm not removing the drive shaft I'm just going to uh, undo the drive shaft and stuff it forward because I've got it should give me about two inches three inches of space So, I've already gone ahead and got them all out, except that last one you just seen. So now we're just going to pry this out and try not to lose our end caps. Okay, so that is out. Now I'm just going to try and push forward. Uh, but it's okay, it'll be up out of the way. That'll give me lots of room. I'll just tie it up there. Now, you'll also notice here is my shift lever. Hopefully you can see that. This is my shift lever. I just popped it right out of the... Actually, this is... What the hell is this called now? Uh, fun... Uh, shit, tunnel right I just do uh, pulled this right out of the lever and swung it down now on top of the uh, transfer case which you can't see right away is just the position plug the electrical connector for the position sensor and what else and a vent tube and the vent tube is just a pinch clamp um, you can't really see that it's easily accessible though um, the hardest part is trying to find how this connector undoes blind <laughs> I might have to get my mirror definitely might have to get my mirror okay so it's just one of those pull away tabs here and then unplugs and then uh, just get that out of the way and we'll get our vent tube uh, we could almost do that by hand but we'll get our vent tube out and uh, continue on this project okay so I just put it up on uh, jack stands and I'll put it in neutral alrighty now we can get this spun around alright so gotta go with a 3.8 as I said before all I do is 
Just give them a whack. Help loosen it up. That should be good. Let's grab the hammer. Like so. So, and one more. Alrighty. So I'll get these pulled out and pry it apart. <coughs> okay guys, got my drive shaft disconnected. Now I'm just gonna pull it out of the transfer case, but I gotta get a oil pan just in case anything comes out. Okay, so just gonna let that drip for a little bit. And then what we're going to do is, uh, what we're going to do is pop this plug back out, even though I've already changed the fluid, but the leak gets worse when I top it up, so I'm going to pop this plug out, drain the ATF plus four, which is freaking ridiculous price of money, and uh, how about her? All right, guys, so it's just a Allen key that holds this. Uh, something mill. Getting, getting old, getting blind, boys. 10 mil. 10 mil Allen key. All right, so drain all this fresh stuff I just put in here. Cost me like eight bucks. Uh, eight bucks a liter of this stuff. And you'll see I put uh, silicone just to uh, just to seal her up. I just put it around the threads. Give her a half decent sealing. Come spraying everywhere, so there's only a liter and well, 0.2 or 1.2 liters in here of all that beautiful ATF gold, ATF plus four gold because Chrysler's got a different. All right. So we're going to let that seep out the best we can and we'll come back. Okay guys, we got her drained out, I put the plug back in, but you can tell on that front output how wet it is, um, that seal's leaking something severe. So we are almost there, all we got now is the bolts that hold it onto the transmission and we'll get a few of them out and we'll put a jack under the transfer case and pull it away from the transmission we should have enough room 
to bring it that way, drop it down, or swing it down, swing it down, and then bring it out this way. And we should be good because everything else is disconnected. Nice. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and removed the 14 mil nuts from right there. There's, uh, I believe, six of them all the way around. Um, I'm just on the very top one, but also on the very top one, on the passenger side, there's a um, just a um, electrical connector clip. Take it out with your uh, trim puller. It's just one of those push clips, so you have to yank that out. Um, so basically, I'm ready to put a jack under here to get her jacked up, undo that last bolt. The last bolt is a real pain in the dink to get out. Um, what I did was I put a stubby, um, let's see if you can see it up here. Yeah, okay, I put a stubby, focus, I put a stubby ratcheting wrench on it, and then I put a screwdriver through the open end. Uh, right there, I put a screwdriver through the open end and I wedged it up against the bottom of the body to give me some leverage to break it loose, but now it's loose, it's ready to spin out. Alright, so, let's get a, uh, let's get a jack under this, and we'll start wiggling it out. And... No, oh, I looked at the name again and I forgot, but the shifter lever, and you guys can probably tell now, the shifter lever, I just popped it out of the uh, actual lever part, and this was called the Trunian, yeah, it's called the Trunian, don't ask, I have no idea, Trunian, but yeah, I just popped that out, so we should be good to go. Let's get this puppy out of here and get her done. Guys, I've got just a regular jack under there. Um, I do have a transmission jack, but I'm not even going to bother. I've been pulling transmissions out with a regular jack all my life. <laughs> so, I'm going to set you guys up and you watch this come out. Really hard to do with a stubby ratcheting wrench, but... Honestly, that's all there's room for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, are you kidding? Right beside a heat shield that's literally cutting off my hand. I, mean, I don't know how some mechanics work with such big hands. I've always had skinny hands to get into places like this. Okay, so. In here, that little bracket that holds the uh, little wiring harness thing on. All right, our last nut. Yes, get our bracket. Bracket. Oh, there it is. Hey, there's our bracket. As I said, just pops into that hole okay so in reality this thing should be ready to come out all right let's see if we can't do this
Okay, I got my dead blow. Kinda wish I had a uh, brass hammer, but I don't. So I'm just gonna hold the tail stock. Oh yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Um, hmm. Uh, is there any prying points? I'm just gonna get my head in your way. Uh, doesn't really look like it. It's got a little weeping hole. Um, so if your transmission leaks, it doesn't weep and fill up and go into the transfer case. Um, all right, so I'm gonna throw some penetrate on this and uh, I'll let it sit for a good 20 minutes or so, see if it won't uh, soak in. Maybe try and ba break up some of that oxidation that's kind of holding it in. All right, guys. Okay guys, um, don't know how well you can tell, but I have a slight gap. Um, what I had to do was use a uh, screwdriver, right? And just lightly tap on the strongest spot, like in between, in behind something here. So I originally started here, okay? And just tapped and tapped and tapped. And as soon as I felt it go in just slightly, oh. As soon as I felt it go in just slightly, then I moved it up to another stronger spot. You know, something with something in behind it so it doesn't break off. So I jammed it in here and pulled on that. And as you can tell, whoop, as you can see the fluid coming out, um, she's right full in there. That means the rear transmission seal is gone. <laughs> So that's a problem. One of the problems I've been having along with the transfer case. So it's a good thing I have the seal. I pre-bought the seal. I knew it was leaking because it was coming out the little weeping hole. There's a little weeping hole somewhere here. Uh, because this isn't actually sealed in between. It's just freaking held together with corrosion. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'm going to get on the other side and give her a little tap, tap, tap and separate it just a tad more. Okay, guys, check it out. I'm winning. So, basically, I'm ready just to pull it out now. And we'll be good to go. Uh, it's freaking awesome. A lot of wiggling back and forth, but we got her. So, now I'm just going to pull it out and... Uh, See if I can do it without killing myself. We're pretty much ready to get this out. Um, problem I have is uh, the room is I'm using my jack and the handle's like really long. So the problem I'm going to have is actually getting it down by myself. Whoa, trying to steady it and lower it and blah blah blah. Uh, okay, she's coming down. Whoop. Okay. What are you catching on? Because I can't see it. Okay. 
All right, we are separate. Totally separate now. So, I'm going to try and reach this jack and let it down really slow. There we go. Come on. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, well. It's out. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh. Alrighty. Ah. Oh. Man, shit happened. <laughs> but we got her out. That's all that matters. No damage. If it couldn't take a fall like that, I would question dodge. Alright. Right, we're just gonna drag her over. Cord out of the way. Beauty. It's out. So. Let's get to the transmission seal, our original problem. Grab a look at things and uh, see how they are. First I'll clean up some fluid that spilt out. Not when it fell, fluid that spilt out when uh, I was draining it. Okay. Okay, so that's dry. That is bloody dry. You see that? There's nothing wrong with that seal. If you look all here, it is absolutely beautiful dry. Nice. Where is it? Huh. I'm gonna guess, yes, I'm gonna guess this isn't actually, oh, yep, it's leaking. All right, we're gonna replace that. Whew. All righty, it's just really clean. <laughs> but that's our seal, so we're gonna get that popped out. Okay guys, uh, You'll notice, Jesus, I need a transmission mount. Look at that. Separation. Ah, one more thing. Anyway. <laughs> um, you'll see I jacked it up, right? I got the seal out. Um, I just, I just used my pry bar. Um, but I jacked it out to stop any more fluid from coming out because uh, these seals have to go in like your bill at a, me at a mechanic shop. It's got to go in dry. So, alrighty, let's have at her. I'm just going to punk it in with a large socket and that'll be that seal done. And then I'll get to the seals on the transfer case. Way over there. Okay guys, got our transmission seal in, um, now we're going to start working on the, uh, on the transfer case over there, Whoop, a little shaky, there we go, yep, we'll do the seals on that now, um, so I think we'll do this in a part two, alright. So, uh, cheers guys. I'm going to make sure uh, I've got all the uh, seals for the transfer case 
Um, I do have I do have the one that I know leaks, but I think I'm just going to replace them all. Um, might as well replace replace the one in behind there. Yeah, I'm going to replace this one here. I've got to replace that one, and I might as well do these ones for the hell of it. But, so I'll have to pick up parts for that tomorrow, so. Okay, cheers guys. And we'll catch you in the next one.